Thank you for logging on to Christ Notes. As always, what a pleasure it is to be able to share the truth with you, the truth that sets us free. Today, we're going to talk about salvation. Continuing talking out of Galatians chapter 2. Remember, we've been talking about how all the laws have been done away with us, and therefore we have complete and absolute justification with our Father through grace. It's not by works anymore. It's not by us being smart enough or loyal enough or you know, devoted enough or disciplined enough to follow a set of rules. It's now just complete, perfect, free, undeserved, unmerited grace and favor. It's because what Jesus did, that's why you and I can boldly go into the throne of grace, obtain mercy, find help in time of need, because it's not based on us. Thank God it's not based on us. So if we look at Galatians 2.20, we're going to see just who we are now in Christ what salvation actually means for us. It says, I have been crucified with Christ. In him, I have shared his crucifixion. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life I now live in the body, I live by faith and adherence to and reliance on and complete trust in the Son of God who loved me and gave him himself up for me. What's salvation? Salvation is we become one with Jesus. There's no longer any separation between the two of us. Ephesians tells us that for this reason a man shall leave his mother and father and be joined with his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. And this is a great mystery, but I speak of Christ and his church. We are members of his body. We are flesh of his flesh. We are bone of his bone. So when you were empowered with the Holy Spirit to acknowledge that Jesus was Lord, you became one with Jesus. There's now no separation at all between the two of us. It's all him. Colossians tells us that we're dead and our lives are hidden Christ in God. Romans 6 says we've shared in his, his crucifixion so that we can live a new life. That we are no longer the old creature. That all of the, the former things, they've all passed away. Now everything is new for us. We're new creatures in Christ. Old things have passed away. All things have become new. What Jesus prayed for us in John 17, that, Father, the glory that you've given me, I now give to them that they may be one with us, just as me and you are one, that they're now one with us. Jesus tells us that when we receive the Holy Spirit, we will realize that he is in us and that we are in him and that we're completely one. God isn't up in heaven. He's in us. He's in heaven. Obviously, he's in heaven because he's omnipotent. He's everywhere but he's in us. We don't have to look to say, Father, come down. And that's what the, the Bible tells us is that, you know, people want to sit back and they want to say, you know, oh, we're going to bring God down. We're going to bring Jesus down. We're going to bring grace down because we're praying so hard. When the truth is, he's in us right now. He's nigh us. He's right here. He's in us. We are never left alone. We're never left. We're never forsaken. Because you are one with God, just like Jesus is one with God. As he is, so are you in this world. That's a, that's a marvelous truth. That, and it is a truth that sets us free. Because what we realize is that God is in complete control of our lives. He knew us before he ever said, let there be anything. He knew exactly how he was going to use you how he's going to use me, how he's going to use all of us. He knew that all condemnation would be done away with for us. No condemnation whatsoever. He knew that there's no rules. There didn't need to be any laws because Jesus is the fulfillment of the law. He has fulfilled everything that the law ever would require. So there's no law for you anymore because there's no law for Jesus. There doesn't need to be law for Jesus. Why does Jesus need a law? He, he's perfect, and we are now one with the perfect one. So, absolutely no condemnation, absolutely no fear, absolutely no doubts. We don't have to fret, did I do this right? Did I do that wrong? Am I following this right? Am I following that? Because you're following it right, because like the Bible tells us, all things now work together for our good. Every last thing in our lives work together for our good. And if anything needs cleaned out of us, Jesus will clean it out of us. But you know what? 
we're still good. It still will work out for our good. That's just how magnificent God is. That's just how magnificent salvation is. That's how glorious it is. We cannot fail. You cannot fail. And that, now think of that. Think of what that actually means. You can be used in powerful, powerful ways to help people that the world says can't be helped. Miraculous things can abound around you because it's not up to you. It's not based on what you're doing. It's based on what Jesus is doing. If you need to do something, it's up to Jesus to cause it to happen. Therefore, you can be perfect as our Father in heaven is perfect and without fear, without doubt. That's what this is telling us. That's what the freedom from the law is. That's why it's so important that we understand it. So, thanks for logging on. I really hope this helps you. Be blessed today in the power of our Father's might because he is greater in you than anything that's in this world.